Dear students, now we are going to discuss about unit step signal and its properties. Standard signals are also called as basic test signals. These signals are mainly used for analyzing or testing the performance or the behavior of any system. After constructing any electrical or electronic systems, we need to test it whether it is working in a right way or not. So for that, we have to use some standard input signals. These signals are called as test signals. So these test signals can be obtained from one another by successive differentiation or integration. These all are the examples of standard signals or standard test signals. Unit step signal, ramp signal, impulse signal, parabolic signal, sinusoidal signal, exponential signal and there are many more standard input signals available like signum signal, pulse signal, triangular signal. These all are the examples. The definition of unit step signal. So unit step signal is defined as a signal with unit magnitude for time greater than zero. Okay, so whenever the time is less than zero, there is no values. It is expressed as U of T. So step signal is always represented as a U of T. So U of T is equal to 1 that is unit step signal means magnitude the amplitude is always 1 so u of t is equal to 1 whenever the time is greater than or equal to 0 if time is less than 0 that magnitude becomes 0 there is no value of the signal okay so this step signal can be drawn like this this is the representation of step signal. Okay, so here this is unit step signal U of t. So here in x axis we have to consider the time parameter. Okay, that y axis is nothing but the magnitude of the signal. So remember this x axis always time y axis is amplitude. So here this U of t unit step signal is having its value 1 whenever the time is greater than or equal to 0. Okay. So, if it is less, this value is simply 0. So, here we can get the step signal like this. So, he, this is what the unit step signal. It looks like step. Correct. It looks like step. That's why it's called as a step signal. Here, the signal is represented in terms of t. t means what? Continuous time. Correct. So, this is unique step signal in terms of continuous time. So, likewise, we can define step signal in terms of discrete time. So, we have already discussed here about continuous time and discrete time in the previous classes. Right. So, here n represents n represents discrete time that means it represents the sample of time it is not continuous at particular instant alone it is having its value so here the step signal in discrete time domain can be represented as u of n n always represents discrete time both the definitions are same in continuous time we have to represent the signal as u of t in discrete time, we have to represent the signal in terms of n. Okay, so u of n is equal to 1 whenever n is greater than or equal to 0. If n is less than 0, the value of the signal becomes 0. Okay, so here in terms of diagrammatic representation, we can represent like this. So here x axis is time. Here time samples are denoted by n and this is what the magnitude okay so 0 1 this is what very very important at particular instance alone we are having that value 
at time n is equal to 1, it has the value 1. Suppose if I am going to say here in this diagram, n is equal to 0.5, there is no value, it is 0. Okay. So, at particular time, instance alone, we are having the values. So, this is what step signal in terms of discrete time domain. So, next one is applications of step signal. So, the step signal is mainly used to, to test the systems whose values change abruptly at specified values of time t. Okay. So, here values change abruptly at specified values of time t. Example, when your voltage is switched on or off in an electrical circuit at your specified value of time. Okay. At your specified value of time. For example, there is a circuit, okay. So, in that circuit, uh, circuit if I am going to switch it on, okay, I am going to, it is in off condition. I am going to switch it on, okay, to 5 volt. Here, this 5 volt represents some amplitude, okay. So, I am going to switch it on to 5 volt. So, how long for the specified value of time? So, for particular specified values of time, Okay, so the behaviorance of the system can be tested by using this step signal. Okay, so in the next class, we will discuss here about the problems. Okay, so we can solve some problems in this step signal. Thank you.